I have a lot of people ask me at clinics what to do with a horse that is too close to you, how to get them away from you. And probably the first thing I want to do is determine is the horse too close to you? And, and for me, there is no too close, it's more about their intention. If that horse is up there and he's engaged with you and he's saying hello, I don't think it's too close. Um, the only time I would really want to fix it, if they are standing close to you but they are not aware of you, their attention is somewhere else or they've kind of gone inwards, then I would want to get them off me. But it's not so much about them getting them off me, it's getting them more back to the present, getting them more back to being here. Now in the past, I used to ask them to back up and there's been a million ways I've asked them to do it. You know, I've got to I could wiggle the rope, I could take my flag, I could move them back with the flag, I could do all sorts of things like, sorts of things like that. But what I have found is these days I'm less concerned about what they're doing physically and more concerned about what they're doing mentally. And what I've found with a lot of people at clinics whose horses come too close, they can wiggle the rope to get the horse to go back or they can wave their flag and the horse gets back. But the horse's expression doesn't change, which means they don't connect with you when they get back. They go, oh yeah, this stuff again. And they, they kind of trudge backwards. And the last interaction, so a person asks them to back up, maybe they wiggle the rope, the horse backs up and the very last thing that horse is doing before they stop asking to back up is their ears are kind of, you know, what you would call hyperfixated inside. Their ears, are, they're not pinned, but they're not mentally out here. And so I basically don't really want to have any directions with the horse where I don't get connection at the end of it. The last thing I want to have is connection before I quit. And so these days when I ask if a horse is too close, what I'll do is I'll create some energy, but I don't direct that energy at the horse. And so I might just bounce up and down on my toes a little bit and then bounce up and down on my feet. And then I might take my flag and wave a little bit. And I might actually wave it a lot over the top of me like that, but it's not going that way. And what you find is those horses tend to step back and take a look at you like, what, what, what's going on here? And so they're away from you but their attention's on you. And so you can see in these couple of little, little instances here uh, the difference between a horse that backs up when you ask him to back up or steps away from you to connect with you. And so they don't necessarily have to be on top of you, connect to you, but for me it's all really about that mental connection.